Hi, if you are looking for uh, undervolting your CPU, which is uh, which has been installed on the Asus motherboard, then this build is for you. So ultimately, uh, I was uh, I did the PC build, and in the PC build, I have uh, used the Intel i five one three six double zero K processor, which is overclockable. So I need to do the over uh, undervolting because of these three reasons. First, uh, we I actually uh, with the undervolting with the overclocking, what happens if I do not do the undervolting, then uh, my CPU voltage can go beyond hundred degrees Celsius, and for my CPU uh, on hundred degrees Celsius, my CPU might burn, might get uh, fried. So I need to avoid this hardware failure. Second thing, uh, I need to avoid the high temperature on my CPU because if there is a high temp high temperature, definitely I will not be gaining performance. Third thing is uh, I need to avoid the unnecessary power consumption by my CPU. So due to these things, I'm going ahead. So uh, how I did the uh, undervolting my CPU on the Asus Tough Gaming uh, motherboard. Let's watch a video quickly. So I'm showing you the final changes of my BIOS. Go to the advanced mode in the Asus motherboard BIOS. There is a field in the AI tweaker tab uh, called internal power, uh, internal CPU power management. This one, our one. Now here we have a field maximum CPU core temperature. By default for you, the value should be auto. You have to keep it around maybe 90 degrees Celsius or maybe 85 degrees Celsius. At first, I kept it at 85, sorry, 90 degrees Celsius. And then I have to go back to the long duration package power limit. So here is a long duration package power limit. This one. I have kept it 125. Why I did so? So let me just show you. So this is uh, my processor specification. Fine, this is my processor and it is specification says that uh, it's a processor based power is 125 wattage and maximum turbo power is uh, 181 wattage. So same values I need to keep in my BIOS. Otherwise it is auto for you. So for the long duration package power limit, I kept 125 because this field co correlates to this uh, processor base power and maximum turbo power uh, field correlates to the short duration uh, package power limit, which is this one. That's why 125 and 181. Fine. After doing so, you have to just uh, save your BIOS uh, settings, right? Then you need to do some stress testing. So for this, you need to download the Cinebench, uh, Cinebench from the Microsoft Store if you are on the Windows 10 or 10 11. And uh, you have to download one of the utility called uh, Intel uh, Extreme Utility, which is this one. And third one, you have to download the uh, SW monitor from this CPU ID link which I will be sharing. So this is the monitor here. What do you see? You can, for each PC component, you can see the voltage consumption, uh, voltage, temperature, power, utilization, everything. So this is my aesthetics for my PC CPU. And uh, third thing is you need to, fourth thing is you need to download the uh, Prime95 uh, application from this URL. So this is the Prime95 application. Uh, for a stress testing. So what you need to do, you need to just uh, open first these three application. First is this XTU and second thing is Cinebench. Third thing is this one. So first you need to go here. You need to uh, use this left arrow. Left arrow is for undervolting, right arrow is for uh, overvolting. We are doing undervolting. So uh, at first this will be uh, 0, 0.000 voltage. You, if you will decrease it, it will go in minus. What I did, I started with the uh, minus 0 0.030 voltage for my testing. I applied this ch uh, change here and after doing so, 
I opened these two applications side by side and started uh, doing the CPU multi-core testing from here. And I monitored the uh, values here. So what do you, I have done, I monitored with max, uh, max value. I monitored package temperature. I monitored uh, power of the package. I monitored the processor uh, utilization here. And I monitored the core clocks for each core here. So uh, as I have already done the uh, limitation on temperature, that means my temperature packet temperature will never go beyond my specified value. So earlier I specified uh, around 90 degrees Celsius. So my 90 degrees Celsius was here available on and my testing was not going beyond that 90 degrees Celsius. So um, when this run uh, finished without any error, then what I did, I minimized it up to 0 0.060 voltage also and tested the same thing again and it was working fine. Then I uh, consecutively uh, did the testing on minus 0 0.090 and minus uh, 0 0.120. At 120, it was failing. So I reverted back it to the minus 0.0. 110 voltage that time Cinebench uh, test was working fine but then I did the, did the stress testing with the Prime 95 I chose the second option uh, with my processor it actually opened 14 uh, threads and then it put the load so I kept the same thing uh, here and did the testing so it actually uh, failed with the last value which was minus 0 0.110 voltage so I actually increased the voltage and reached up to minus 0 0.065 voltage. At this voltage, uh, my Prime 96, 95 application was able to keep the test running until six minutes. So uh, this way I decided uh, that this number is final. And that's why, which I shown you in the video that I uh, will be keeping so uh, after finishing my this testing, I will go back to my um, BIOS in the AI tweaker. In the AI tweaker, there is a field called um, uh, global. Let's go there. Field called uh, global core S bit voltage. Uh, so I changed it to the adaptive mode. I used the negative uh, offset mode as mod sign, and I used the uh, offset mode value same as I decided on my uh, wait a minute adaptive mode minus and then this is the uh, 0 0.06500 so this is the same as the value which I have decided here so this way I did the intervolting let me to show you if I have missed anything to show you. Okay, so this is how I did. And for this, one more thing. I actually also watched few YouTube videos and I actually watched around 16 videos, YouTube videos. And from each of the 16 videos, I have recorded it is like the YouTube video name, YouTube video link. And the screenshots which I found that I should be using uh, do, doing such configuration. So this is how I did. And at final, I in the document I prepared what finally they all are suggesting to do. So this is the three things which I am telling you right now. So you can just read it. And this is the final changes which I did in the BIOS. In the ASUS BIOS, go to this fee AI tweaker tab. That is internal CPU power management. I kept maximum CPU core temperature 85 degrees. Long duration package power limit 125 as per my CPU configuration specification. Same in this one. And go back to the white tweaker. There is a global core uh, SVT voltage. Same values here. So, yeah. Thanks.